Hi, today we're going to do a video, which I call a Tabata video. Okay, so this is short spurts of high intensity. Um, we're going to do a set of two things. Okay, and we're going to repeat that set three times and then move on to the next set. So the first set we're going to do, let's just march to warm up a little bit. The first set we're going to do are side lunges and what I call T-stands or twist ups. Okay, so you're going to go all out effort for each activity. So short spurts, high intensity. Uh, you will need um, some weights for this workout. Um, eight pounds, 10 pounds, five pounds, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, we will be doing some curls and some rows and even if you have some soup cans, some frozen water bottles, something, anything will work. Okay, so we're gonna start right now doing side lunges. Okay, so inner thigh, we're using a lot of inner thigh. It's gonna stay like outside leg. It's gonna stay straight. Breathe, chest is up. This is gonna get the heart rate up. Like I said, you wanna kinda of go high intensity, go up, move a little bit faster. One more. Good, and then we'll go right into T-stands or twist ups. Okay, so on the floor like this, you're gonna twist up and rotate. Keep breathing. Getting the obliques. If this is too much, you can hold the plank position. One more. Excellent, stand up. Back to those side lunges. I'm just gonna march in place. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and lunge again. Lunge and reach. Good, you wanna to try to go nice and deep. Really work in those quads and those glutes and the hamstrings. Keep the head up and keep the core tight. Two more, one more, excellent. And then back to T-stands. And again, if you wanna increase intensity here, you can add some weight. So you're gonna twist. Try to keep those hands underneath the shoulders. Two more. Excellent, good, come on up. Easy rest, march in place. Heart rate right down, or three, two, and again, side lunge. And again, go at your own pace. If you need to slow it down, that's fine too. Modify whatever you need to do. Three, two, one. Excellent, last time for the T-stands. or the twist ups, hand underneath the shoulders, twist. All about the core. Remember it's important to keep breathing. Excellent, good, come back up. March in place. Bring the heart rate down. Next thing we're gonna do, the next set we're gonna do high pulls and curls. So you are gonna use the weights for this, okay? Um, I'm gonna use 10 pounds for high pulls. You can use a little bit heavier if you wish. Okay, so I'm gonna grab uh, one weight, okay? And you're gonna alternate high pulls. So it's a squat, high pull or an upright row up. And again, you're squatting, using the abs here. Three, two, one, excellent. Then you're gonna grab the other weight and a bicep curl, okay? So 10 reps of these, hands down, just from the elbows, okay? You want a full bend. Full extension. Whatever weight you're comfortable with. 
Remember, we have three sets of these. You can switch the weights up if you need. Two, one more. Excellent, good. Hold on to that one weight. And march for five, four, three, two. Excellent, and back to high pulls. So a squat with the upright row. Try to get deep squat. Using the shoulders. Two more. Excellent, good, grab your other weight. Curls again. Remember full extension. You wanna keep the abs tight here. No arch in the lower back, okay? If the weights are too heavy, please drop them because you don't want this position. You want a slight bend in the knees, just moving the biceps. Two more. You can also do, in the, do this if you have an exercise ball. Okay, which in place helps with your form. Make sure you're getting that true bicep curl. Three, two, one, last set here. High pulls again, up with an upright row. Ten, two more. Excellent, good. Grab that weight, last set of the curls. Just remember, it's just important to keep on moving. Two more. Excellent, good. Okay, we're gonna set those weights down, march it out, five, four, Three, good. Next set, we're gonna do two, we're gonna do squat jumps. Remember, all out. And then we're gonna do rows with the weights again. Okay, back rows. Okay, so starting with squat jumps, down, up. Three, remember to go low, power up. Two more. Excellent, good. Grab the weights. Okay, and again, slight bend of the knees, okay? Flat back, row, pinching the shoulder blades. Using those back muscles. Good, down here. March it out. Keep breathing in between, it's your rest time. Good, and then back to squat jumps. Again, remember nice deep low squats, power up. You can modify this by just doing squats. One more. Excellent. Grab those weights again. These rows are great for postural back muscles. Okay, you want to roll those shoulders back, shoulders dropped away from the ears. Row, elbows back. If it's too much, you can do one arm at a time, or you can alternate. One more. Excellent, good. Set the weights down, march it out. Three, two, last set here. Back to the squat jumps. Nice deep, make sure the knees are not going over the toes. All you got here. Set that heart rate up. Two more. Excellent, good. Last set of the rows. 
You can also to switch it up, have the palms up, do a roll this way, a little bit different angle. Remember that back, strengthening those back muscles is super important. Good, especially if you sit at a desk all day or sit in front of the computer, super important for good posture. Good, set those weights down, march it out, take your rest. Okay, next set we're gonna do our butt kicks. Remember, all, all out and a moving plank. Okay, side to side moving plank. Okay, so first thing, or you can just run in place, okay? We're gonna do butt kicks is just like this. You could do this, you can march in place, okay? Just keep that, get that heart rate up. Three, two, one, excellent. Okay, on the hands, hands underneath the shoulders, you're gonna move side to side. Okay, this position here, you're gonna move, Three steps to the side, hold position, keep the abs tight, move back to the other side, hold, and again, one more, hold, good, come on up, march it up. We have three sets here. Three, two, and back into butt kicks. Keep going. You got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to that moving push-up or plank position. Do it this way this time. Hands under the shoulders, side to side. Hold, and the belly button to the spine. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Body weight exercises are a great way to strengthen. Yeah, one more here. Excellent, good. Come on up. March it up. Four, three, two, and one more, back into butt kicks. Remember, if you ever need water at any time, you can take a quick break. Keep it going. You got it. Give me five, four, three, two, one, excellent last time with that moving plank. Side to side. If you wish, you can come to the side and add a push up. to our next set. You're doing a great job here. We're going to do a jump rope. Okay, so you can do a double jump or you can alternate your feet, whatever you like to do, and lunge pulses. Give me three, two, one, and into the jump rope. So 
moving the arms, using the biceps, double jump. You can increase your speed. You can jump side to side. You can jump, alternate the feet. Let's keep that heart rate up. Double jump it up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Now we're going to do lunge pulses, okay? So you can keep your hands on your hips, next to your side, behind your head, hold weights, okay? Whatever you'd like. In a lunge position, okay? Drop that back knee down. Six, seven, give me three here. Three, two, one, switch sides. And eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Good, you should feel those legs burning. March it out a minute. And we're gonna go back to the jump rope. Three, two, and jump. You can kick your legs out. Keep those biceps tight. That's like I said. Shoulders relaxed. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Back to the lunge pulses. And you know, these are great for the glutes. Great for the legs here, nice toning. Pulse down. Remember you wanna keep good posture here too. Shoulders down and back. Prevent us from hunching over. 10, good, and switch sides. Remember again, you don't want that knee to go over the front foot, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Good, march it up. Before, three, two, last set here, and jump rope, go. Give it all you got. A little bit easier than a real jump rope. Switch the feet. Switch, 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 switch. Small feet. Give me time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last time with those lunge pauses. Bring the hands up, keep the heart rate up a little bit, and pulse. Four, keep breathing, posture up, arms back. Two more. Excellent, good. And pulse. Six, four. Three, two, and one. March it out. Okay, we have one more set here. We're gonna do reverse flies and mountain climbers, okay? So again, any weights you want, back flies. Okay, so we're gonna pick up those weights. Good posture, knees slightly bent, out with the elbows and together. Pinch in the shoulder blades. Work in those posture muscles. Two more. 
excellent. Set the weights down, come right down to the floor for a mountain climber. Go slow or fast, keeping the hands under the shoulders and knees in, keeping the head up to breathe. Seven, give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, up for those flies again. Set your shoulders and out with the elbows. Pinch, a lot of back strengthening today. Seven, eight, two more. 10, good. Back into the mountain climbers. I'll show you a modification here. If you don't want to do full mountain climbers, you can do them a little bit slower, okay? So here, you can come in. Four, same pace. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, grab those weights again. We have one more set here. Back to those flies. Remember to set yourself in good posture. Four. You got it, three, doing great. Two, one, excellent. Back into the climbers. Here we go. Finish strong. Keep going on five seconds. Four. Three, two, excellent. Very good, march it out. We're gonna do one more set on the floor, okay? And it's gonna be an ab set. So we're gonna do um, double crunch and a chest fly, okay? So you're gonna want a little bit lighter weights if you can, or if you still have heavy weights, you can do a chest press, okay? You're going to come on down, the weight's next to me here. You're going to go in tabletop legs here like this, hands behind the head, and you're going to double crunch up. Keep breathing. Nothing should be, no pain or anything in the low back, the belly button to the spine. Three seconds. Two. One, excellent. Grab your light weights. Chest flying to make it a little bit more difficult. You can have the legs up extended or tabletop position. Okay, again, nothing in that low back. You wanna keep the abs tight. Arms slightly bent out to the side and squeeze together. Couple more here, three, two, and one. Excellent, set the waist down, back to double crunches. Here, crunching up together. You can also modify this if you keep the feet on the ground. You can just crunch up. Make sure you're exhaling on the way up, keeping the elbows back, spaced under the chin. And you want to make sure you're lifting those shoulder blades off the ground. Okay, that's where you're getting the contraction in the abdominal muscles. Three more. Two. One. Excellent. Grab those weights again. I'll do my legs up straight like this. Okay, slightly bend with the arms. Squeeze the chest together and out. Three. 
Now, if you do have heavier weights or this is too much on the shoulders, you can do a chest press. You can come up out to the side. Again, you can also have your feet down for these two. Three, two, one, excellent, weights down. Last set here, double crunches, and crunch up together. Remember, keep that belly button toward the spine. Press it into the back. Three more. Three, two, one. Good. Last set here with the flies. Arms out to the side. Slight bend. Squeeze the chest together. Bring those weights right together. Palms in. You're doing great. You're almost done here with this workout. Let's finish up here. Give me two, one more. Excellent. Set the weights down. Grab the knees, pull into the chest, and breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. And we're going to do a little bit of stretching right here on our backs, okay? So you're going to drop one leg down, hold that opposite leg in, stretch out the hip flexor. Good. Now, range of motion in that hamstring. So you're going to bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Each time, try to go up a little bit further. And again, if you can't, you can hold here, hold at the hamstring. I just want you to get those Get that muscle moving and then give it a hold. Good, bend it back down and I want you to cross the leg over and look to the opposite way. Nice rotation here in the hip and the torso. Relax the other shoulder. Good, bring it in. Switch sides, bring the opposite leg up stretching the opposite, in this case, the right hip flexor. I pull that leg in and then the hamstring. So you're gonna bend and straighten. This actually increases the range of your hamstring opposed to just a static hold. Okay, then hold it for five, three, two, one. Good, bend that down and across and twist like the opposite direction and breathe. Excellent, good. And then roll up, hold under the knees if you need. And let's do a butterfly stretch. Okay, so best you can, bringing the feet together. And again, stretching the inner thighs, stretching the hips out, relaxing the shoulders. Pressing the legs down and up. Trying to increase the range of motion. Excellent. And legs straight up and reach down, stretching those hamstrings again. Coming up and reach down. And up and one more time. Reach just, just as far as you can get can go. Slight bend in the hamstring if you need. Good. And stretch the arm across the body. Remember to keep that shoulder blade pressed down. Good. And the other side. Little neck flexion. Good. Okay, so you're going to flex the head forward. Stretch the spine out. Little neck extension. Good. And then a side flexion. 
and other side. Great workout. Again, hope to see you soon. Bye.